so I intend to go from here, here to the living village here, I'm going to jump off here, get down the mountain and work my way through the desert. here where I'll get some form I'll turn around here somewhere and then I'll end up finding a to get off this um, island especially if you're Rico Rodriguez Rico Rodriguez does a solo when to pull a shoe but that just drags me out of it. I have got my emergency shoot still. I've got several in fact. Bam Bam I just jumped off that the highest peak up there in the desert. Now the easier thing I can do is So I was put in with some dealer. He was not an illegal dealer or anything. He was just doing his job. And I got my and I got a motor like this fully upgraded bike. Now this is talking speed. So almost straight away. Alright, could this, this be the end for the bike? That's the end for the bike. I seem to have gone a different way around this time. Anyway, I embarked on a running quest to, to see how long I would survive in this desert. Despite being surrounded by water, it was remotely arid. It was, this desert is only a part of the country of Pinal Island, only a bit south of the, of Asia. S Southeast Asian islands. Now I was finding any way to get any glimpse of the wildlife on my adventure. So here I am on my adventure. I was armed with weapons just in case I was attacked by anything. So I went with my gun drawn.
for them to be a nearby supply depot. I didn't want to interrupt whoever was there, so I walked around. I haven't got far, generally because that Mikato only lasted me a kilometre or so before it sunk itself. I was very skilled with parachutes, so I brought quite a few. Also, the crew following me weren't very good with parachutes. So, instead for this, I was filmed by a high definition satellite. And camera crew in some places. Damn that hurts, right. Now we're trying to land the parachute sideways. That even makes sense. So anyway, this island was clearly one to be avoided, as it was just a sliver of land. No hope of telling me where I want to go. It's a lot of trees. Palm trees! Even though my name sounds Spanish, I have mysteriously got an English accent for living in that country for since I was like one year old. I am Rico Rodriguez. Mm. I can see the sunset. I can also see some other stuff. I'm angry the gods, there's been apocalypse and stuff. I stare. Bam. Bam. I'm falling into the water. If I could not regain my steadiness, the current, the current could probably drag me away. And that was too, and that was too close for comfort. It would be very wise if I were to somehow find somewhere to stay for the night. But I was not a wise person when I made this video. Only afterwards did I realise the threats of being in the desert at night. I can tell there's about an hour left of. We've made, we might have an hour left of the sun. No, we have less. I just saw it set really quickly. Now all that has to happen is the sky is going dark, so. All I can see is the clouds getting darker and darker. Finally, oil rigs. Wow, that's a hotel. It must be very nice to stay in one of those at this time of night. Oil rigs. Grapple hook. Parachute. Sand. Might be wise to craft over one of those oil rigs.
happened not too soon after I met the ghost did I see a boat crash into another boat on the water. What can I say? This is for now. And the moon is already rising really quickly. I can just see it moving. Moon moons don't generally rise that fast. It's jokes. Moons don't rise that fast. It's almost. Se about several hours later. After the moon decided it's well, a cow, a boat comes to fix me. Picks me up and takes me off to somewhere. And I was. Sailing on. Maybe my adventure must take a bypass route as I had already. Going out. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not staying on the boat. I think I'm going to be on the desert. So, after having some lovely dinner with one of the locals, I was eventually ready to continue my adventure and set out to the depths of midnight. As it, as it got towards midnight, I didn't. Something was shining onto me, something light, very bright, and I was. I will look to the m my map. I had an entire crest to go around. Now all that was left was to wait till morning. Hello, <sighs> my family crest was um, a scorpion eating a pigeon. Uh, I was had a fast motor transport. All I had to do was freeze the entire lake for it. Get to the village. I was told the gunfights like this happen all the time and I should not be afraid of them, but clearly that's frightening. And these happen all the time, but now that I've hit the roads people were offering a very lovely vehicle here that What the hell's their problem? How is it hostile to be driving? Come on, shoot at me then. Clearly the government here is corrupt and planted me dead. But I was fine with that as I had my own form of tactic. You see, this car has its own... Then I realised I had actually escaped. 
right before I used this tactic, that the people here would have surely killed me if they had... I barely took a bullet. This plan was genius and I should have thought it up earlier. And then I crashed my car because none of the cars on Penal have any handling. And I saw something that people had left lying around. It was a box. That, that, and then later they gave it to me for some reason. I, I, I thanked the people for it. And they gave me a car which then I was later shot at. Car curse. The oh, and did I? I should put in the. Oh, and yes, viewer discretion is advised. In for if you want, if you intend to watch this video. Yeah, get out of my way. What the hell did I do to you people? Really? I'm, I want to turn left, guys. You are really ruining my... You really are some knob ends. I'm going to murder everyone here on this island. Because that was just... I don't know why, why are they attacking me type thing. And I found a nice little village. There was. I almost went directly through it. Then I realised they've got a nice store. So I had to. I had to park. Check it out. Sorry pals. There we go and punch the window. So they shoot at you randomly, but they don't arrest people for punching windows on shop. I was truly playing with fire. Looking around the village for a car that could take me where I wanted to go. And then I got a taxi to the next village. I have to admit the taxis on Penal were a lot nicer than the government. You owe me. I took a bullet for that guy. What the hell? I 
I got on the roof of the taxi and jumped off as it set fire. Then someone gave me a rare car, the Travalia Travel. Traveler. Oh, very old version. And as I drove up, This is very, very, very awkward. This is a well populated area of the world. It's a lot. If you enter the city, there's a lot of vehicles. So. Driving the car up to the next village because that taxi guy kicked me out when his car set fire. I wonder why it was in perfect condition for driving. He kicked me out of his car and then it blew up. It was still perfect for driving if I hadn't kicked me out of his car. Then there was a small, small settlement just outside the I decided this is a perfect place to go off for a bit. And I was just like, wow, this place is nice and very handy and almost very clean. I mean the floor's a bit muddy but you know nobody's perfect and, and neither does anything. Um, a few holes in the roof but I think it'll keep the rain at bay. A few holes in the wall. But you know beggars can't be choosers and I'm so glad I'm not from here. Because people who live in these houses really need to, yeah, maybe get, a, maybe a, sm a nice, maybe a heated house somewhere. So they have got to go and earn the money somehow. It's a shame that there's not as good jobs. Yeah. So basically I was driving through the lovely um, place and Sorry mate, please don't shoot me. Yeah, already I needed a toilet break.
But I've completely gone and stuck it on a fence. Just make sure that the rear of the car isn't point, point isn't on the road. These people here are all frightened of me. And clearly I was not welcome here in whatever here it is. So I was just I'm gonna ask the locals for some ideas, but everyone can lock themselves in while we're cowering in fear. So I decided this is not the place to be at the moment. So I jumped over, jumped onto the top of my own car. She dropped on the windscreen, just dropped through, and been in my seat, snapping both my legs, making every make making the clutch very painful. if it landed on it and driving in agony probably why well, some that was just a crash but the, I cannot be bothered st staying here because all they'll do is shoot me for the well, they've got to blame this on someone. But soon after that, some person got to the car, and there's a lovely little side road that I'm insisted on taking. And soon after, I started driving, I saw what it looked like snow. I don't realise this is the car I want, but I need your car. You won't get it back. Handed a motorbike because clearly the cars here were, had no control on. Then he thought the cars had no control on this island. Well, you, well, the motorbikes were ten times worse. Oh my god! It's awesome, but it's so dumb. I had to keep on the road in the right place at that. Oh god. Damn it. 
I'm not even trying to keep on the road, I'm just trying to keep on the bike. I wasn't. If you believe it or not, this is still a part of the desert. Well, that's the edge of the desert, anyway. That, that hurt. I definitely lost some blood on that. That's a military base. The only, the only civilian way of getting across this river is right at the end of it. Unless, unless you are really fond of swimming. We're back into the arid heat of the desert. Even though there's a river with water still flowing, not too far to my left. So not too far, I mean, probably half a mile or so. Well, I realised I'd actually got quite far with this thing. Checking the map, I was coming to a big lake type thing, which is like a made up of. Damn it! Not that. I'm taking your concentration off the road for more than. for five. more than a second. resulted in me crashing my bike. Poor thing deserved to be destroyed like that. Into this douchebags car. Even though someone kindly ran away from their bike, uh, I was quite annoyed at that. Can't read any of these symbols. <laughs> Damn it, screw them up, bike. This is. God. Dang it. Then I went to the fuel station to find out that the there's a recent explosion. What? There's a fuel station and you're in the way. Oh, sorry. Wrong side. My apologies. No. I was doing that because no one know. 
because on, on adventure you don't generally need passage here and Right guys, yes clearly I might have annoyed the locals but doesn't everyone And extraction to a very secure airport more to the top of the island so I can have an aerial view of the isle before anyone decides that they're going to dislike this video So I shall land there. This is the runway. Here I am getting. In. Why can't I have just gone up with that? We'll wait for the Cassius to go. There's your No that's how you That's how you fly a plane. Oh, it's a stall turn, it's so fun. 
so this is the start of a series that the next episode won't be released for probably some time so much land to be explored it's only earlier I was in the desert not going to explore any of this land yet but that'll be later on in the series of probably th uh, three episodes this is the first of three the other two will come later on is in like two weeks or so but please do remind me in the comments box that I've got to make these videos for your sake Yeah, I'm still alive. Wow. I do this quite a lot, don't worry. So this is definitely how it's going to end.